Hey guys, Richard here, eBike Reviews and Adventures. So today is unboxing day. We're going to be unboxing and assembling this Ad Motor M81. Now the M81 is a cargo style e-bike and I specifically requested this from Ad Motor for a special event that I have coming up and they agreed to sponsor that. So big thank you to Ad Motor for sending me this e-bike and some accessories to go along with it and soon I'll be getting an extra battery. If that's any indication. So uh, more information about that in a future video, but for now, it's all about getting this booger unboxed, assembled, and taking it for its first ride. So here we go. All right, guys, before we get started, just take a quick look around here. We had some rain last night, so the ground is wet. The humidity is high. I don't know how much longer I'll keep this door open. We'll just have to see, because it's going to be another warm one today. We got a beautiful rainbow shooting up right across there. Don't know if you can see that. You can almost see after you get through the blue sky you can see part of it going down like most in the center of that tree right there so yeah that's kind of cool to see god's promised all of us there's my neighbor keith and his son going to school and uh yeah so let's get going and let's get this thing unboxed so first we've got some accessories here we're going to take a look at that and had motor sent a basket all right there we go so it is a familiar design basket it's got ad motor written on the front and yeah i think uh you know that's gonna look, work out well on the front of this bike okay in this other box here i already opened it and took a peek inside so let's pull some of this out we do have some foot rests that go on the back of this cargo bike so we can haul some passengers we have this really cool looking uh bag here so it's i haven't figured everything out yet i'm not sure what this is but it, it attaches and i'm wondering if it attaches maybe to the the bike but I'm not sure we'll have to figure that out but either way it's got shoulder straps so you can carry it so you've got some stuff in there that you can uh, haul around if you need to got a couple pockets there yeah interesting so we will check that out a little bit closer later on we have a handlebar extension right here which is great for accessories like cell phone holders and things so I appreciate that we have a seat cushion in here for that extra passenger because it does have that capability that's great and some packaging we don't need to look at that all right guys so let's tear into this m81 and i think what we're going to do i've seen this on other videos not for this particular bike but i have seen on other videos where people are saying you know just open it from the end and drag it out instead of trying to open it from the top and lift it up and out because this is a heavy bike okay so i think we're going to try that so Okay, we got the open, uh, the end open there, and we got some foam right here protecting it. I like that. And let's just see if we can drag this bike out of here. First impression is everything looks like it's wrapped in the foam really, really well. I see a ton of zip ties holding everything down, so I like that. We have pedals couple of wrenches, a manual, and probably a charger. All right, so we have an AdMotor branded charger here. It is a 2 amp charger. What does my eye spy? Could that be a battery right there? All right, there we go. And we found some keys in there with it. So this is a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery okay first impressions we do have Kenda tires right here and it is attached to the bike. We have a controller right here, we can see. We got a white bike frame, which is what I requested. We got zip ties all over. I see Ad Motor branded uh, hydraulic brakes right here. And we do have metal fenders. And look at this, look at this rack, guys. That rack is like 25 inches long, so it's huge. Huge, which is great. And we got, yeah, ooh, look at that. We got a, uh, a seat that is the saddle brown, which I think is kind of cool. That's different. Mm. 
Oof. Okay, so far what I'm seeing is we do have add shock suspension forks here. We do have a lockout, which I like, but I rarely use on uh, my e-bikes because I just leave it in the open position, so I get a lot of spring in the front. We do have connections right here for uh, a basket. I like the stem here that is adjustable up and down because you can remove each one of these rings right here and adjust the height a little bit. I like that the stem is adjustable right here, so I can actually tilt it up uh, more upright. Uh, so I do appreciate that looks like we have connection points for a water bottle right here Which is kind of important the battery slides down on this uh, this rail right here and plugs in right underneath the rider's seat The seat is adjustable and I got a, or I should say a quick release clamp right here We have a, it's kind of like a leather feel a firm like most uh, bike saddles are it is ad motor branded I like the the shape of it a little bit here though uh, Yeah, so Pretty nice looking seat. We'll see how comfortable it is once we get going. We have the controller, which is mounted right here in the back side of the seat post uh, part of the frame. And we have the crank here. I don't know the size of that front crank. It looks like it could be like a 46 or something, maybe. Uh, let's see. I like that the chain has a chain guard uh, that runs all the way, or most of the way back. I think that's important because... One, it keeps the, your pant leg from rubbing on the chain, possibly getting caught or getting grease all over you. If you happen to be carrying a passenger up here, then it's kind of important to keep feet and things away from the chain. So I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we do have connection points on the frame right here to attach the uh, those footrests I mentioned. We have an Altus derailleur right here that was well protected with foam when I unboxed it or unpackaged it. We do have what looks like a seven-speed... Um, Seven speed gears in the rear. We have the Kenda Crusade tires, my favorite tire. This has got a really nice tread pattern on it. And this is, I don't think that's, I think that's different than some of the other Kenda Crusade tires I've seen. Um, but yeah, looks good. And so we do have a rear light back here. It is integrated because we got the wiring that runs underneath right here. This rack is designed a little different. Uh, because it's so much bigger, you've got what looks like plenty of connection points to do things with. I got a couple of pre-drilled holes right here. A couple of pre-drilled holes right here and a couple right here. One thing that I notice if you're attaching something to this, um, you know, see, it kind of lines up right there with the back of the seat. And it, the seat could be in the way. So if you're a shorter rider and you got your seat all the way down in the lowest position and then you want to, you know, attach something here, it, you know, it could rub, maybe. Uh, but I'm a tall rider, so this seat's going to be way up here somewhere, so that's not going to be a problem for me. And let's see, yeah, what else? So that's it. So next, I'm going to get this front tire on so this bike is a little more stable, so it doesn't give me any issues. All right, so here's a closer look at the front tire. It is a quick-release front tire, and they've got that attached to the spokes right here, so we'll cut that little axle uh, uh, piece off right there. All right, you're just going to unscrew the end piece right here. Slide this little spring off so you don't lose it. Keep the spring on the other side along with the lock. Slide a little axle in there. We're going to go ahead and put our spring on this side. And tighten that nut up just a little bit. Okay, so I do wish it had one of those uh, safety washers. Uh, I don't know what they're called, but you know that's a washer that goes on the axle, and then it's got that little hook that sticks up and it grabs the frame. Uh, and then once you put the nut on, uh, it ensures that the wheel can't come off at all because it's got that safety washer and it's hooked onto the frame. I wish they had something like that, but you know what? Uh, that's okay. We will just check this periodically and make sure everything's nice and tight so we don't have any problem with the wheel. Now something I noticed, I do wish this bike had a double kickstand. 
uh, a lot of cargo bikes do, so it keeps the bike sitting upright. And I wished it had that option. I do like this style of kickstand though, I prefer that because when I'm not hauling cargo, it's so much easier to get on and off the bike and just having a regular kickstand there versus having one of those double uh, those double kickstands that you gotta rock the bike on and off of it. Uh, as you may have seen on some of my other videos, I always installed uh, one of these types of kickstands also because this is just more convenient, especially here in the, in the garage where things are crowded and I'm constantly shifting and moving things around. It's just a lot easier to move something around when you just tilt it up off the kickstand and roll it. I just noticed this, the back of the seat has this little handle here. I always like that, okay? I've seen that only on a couple other brands where they put like a little handle underneath the seat, which makes it convenient to be able to just quickly grab this thing when you are picking it up and moving it around. So, but now we're gonna go ahead and take these zip ties off. So first look at the handlebars here, Oop, upside down, there we go. We do have a leather-like stitched uh, handlebar grips here, which is kind of cool. We do have a twist throttle, which I always like. That's what I prefer. We do have this SIS shifter here, seven speed I already mentioned. Don't know what that is. That could be a horn or something. Don't know, we'll figure out what that one is. And then we have brakes. It's safe to pull those now since we have the wheel installed. Brakes feel nice and tight. Here's our thumb pad over here. So we have left, right, up, down. I don't know, did this bike have blinkers? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it did have blinkers. So that looks like a left and right blinker. We have the front headlight there. That's probably our pass up and down. And underneath that, we have a power button right there. I can tell you it's got a, the rubbery feel. Those buttons are kind of rubbery. And yeah, it's kind of, it's a different style button pad than what I've seen before. Quite different, in fact. It's kind of like three-sided, you know, here, here, and then underneath. But that works well. I, th I think that's fine. The buttons do feel good. So, no concerns there. I do like the wiring is mostly wrapped. It's wrapped nice and tight. The only connection, or the only points that aren't are right here where the connections are. So you can plug and unplug different uh, components and things. This is interesting. I've never seen anything quite this large before. So, but this is a big old hunk of something here. It's got the AdMotor logo on it. So it's just a, I don't know, it's like a junction box or something. All right, guys, you always put your pedals on, spinning them towards the front of the bike. So they do have reverse threads from one side to the other, right? So. And now we're on the other side. So again, we're going to spin it towards the front of the bike, which is a reverse thread. All right, I do like that they are metal pedals, so that is good. All right, that part of the fender is done. Now we need to attach these right down here is our connection points right underneath the bottom of the shock there. All right, so that part of the assembly is done. Here comes Tom, my neighbor. He's out there cutting lawns. Here he comes, He's gonna make all kinds of noise. Tire pressure for these tires are maximum 30 PSI. We're going to start with 20, and then we will probably adjust from there. All right, guys, we got the assembly complete on this AdMotor M81. Uh, we're charging up the battery now, and we're going to see, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait until that charges up before we take it out. Hold on, Toby. We'll be right back. So without a battery, you can power this thing. Without a battery, no problem. All right, first little maiden voyage here. It'd help if I put my kickstand up. All right, get us away from Tom just a little bit there. Let's go this way, check it out. All right. You know, some bikes are just crazy heavy. And this one is too, it's pretty heavy. 
but it's very doable on a flat ground if you had to pedal it somewhere but I'm also missing about 12 pounds of battery and cargo and that sort of thing too so yeah Okay, guys, we're going to cut this video off right here because, yeah, i got to close this garage door and let Tom do his job. I'm liking the Admotor M81 so far. Of course, we'll do some riding here real soon, and we'll do a full review video and let you know what we think about it here in, in about a week. So that's going to be it for this video. Give me a thumbs up if, you're, if you found this entertaining in any way. If, uh, like, an assembly video is entertaining, right? If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions about the M81, drop them down below. I'll leave a link so you can go check it out, check out the specs, ask me any questions, if there's anything you want me to review specifically, let me know, and I'll try to cover all those things. Until the next video, ride safe.